No matter what, <clears throat> I'm always going to be honest with y'all. I mean, y'all are my friends, and I want to treat you with integrity and honesty and not bamboozle you. It says that... Hey, y'all, Miss Katie here with Heritage Ways. And today, I want to unbox for you something that I have. It's exciting to use in the kitchen because it can be used in several different ways. Cast iron, um, Dutch oven, enamel lined, and I wanna show you the old one I've been using uh, for years, a few years, I guess four, three or four. And then I wanna show you the new one. I wanna talk to you about it a little bit. And then I wanna hear your comments down below and let me know, do you have a Dutch oven? Is it enamel lined? What do you like about it or not like? Or if you have any questions, because I've been using a Dutch oven for quite some time. So stay tuned and we are going to unbox my new Dutch oven. Welcome and thanks for being here again. This is Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie where I teach cozy homemaking with old fashioned family values. And we're just doing the best we can as homemakers. And sometimes the best we can is just buying what we can afford uh, with the resources that we have. So I wanna talk for just a minute about what I've been using as far as an enamel line Dutch oven for um, I think four to five years, I think it is. I've been using this one. I wanna show you the condition of it. And then I want to share the one that I'm gonna unbox. Actually, I've already opened it, but I'll put it back in the box to show you. That's why the flaps are open. Now, my friends at Layman's store in Kidron, Ohio, not far from me, sent this over to me. So I want to thank them. Thank you, Layman's, for um, sponsoring this video by sending me this lodge. Uh, cast iron enamel Dutch oven. Let's talk about this um, Dutch oven that I have had for four to five years. All right, this is Crofton brand. Um, I don't know where it's made. It doesn't say, I'm assuming overseas, but I'm not gonna say that for sure. It is a six quart. You can see it is well loved. I bought this when we moved on our RV uh, 2018 and I got it at Aldi. It has served me well. I've used it on the RV and here in this house. You can see it's stained. Um, I've used it for all sorts of jobs, of course, soups and stews, frying things, as in any Dutch oven you can use. Um, you can do those 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 chores, um, those uses, um, soup, stews, frying, but also you can bake bread. I have baked sourdough bread in this. Now, this is not chipped or anything. This is literally stained because we clean it well, as well as we can every time, but that's okay. They're going to stain, but I want to show you the chips that are around the edge, and that is not good. <laughs> it is not good because, you know, where are the chips going? Into your food, um, down your drain when you wash it, where are they going? And in a minute, when we unbox the lodge, I'm going to show you how you can prevent that. Now, honestly, I could have, I realized after the fact, put like a towel, some sort of a cloth down to protect this in the event that the chips occurred when it was being stored. Uh, but I did not do that, and I probably should have. The lid is enamel lined as well, and enamel lined cast iron is, well, it's cast iron, and then enamel is a glass type or a glass a coating that is baked on it at a very high temperature, making it smooth. And it doesn't have that same texture as, as a, a cast iron Dutch oven that doesn't have enamel. This is a more smooth, really it's easier to clean, I feel like. And honestly, I have used kind of a scouring brush on this, a light scouring brush to clean it. So, you know, that, that works very well. But it is time to retire this because I'm, you know, annoyed with the chips. I'm disturbed by them. And so I'm thrilled to open the Lodge, the Lodge Cast Iron Enamel Dutch Oven. 
Now, if you've been with me long, you know that I, we are from Tennessee, born and bred Middle Tennessee, Southern Middle Tennessee, about an hour from the Lodge factory. So I have been using Lodge, well, all my life. My mother, my grandparents, my Southern grandparents uh, used Lodge cast iron. I've made trips down to that area and I've purchased from the Lodge store. I've been telling y'all about Lodge for years. And now I'm excited to be able to provide a link for you to purchase this yourself. So I'm gonna have a link down in the description box. Uh, it'll be a layman's link of where you can purchase this item. Now, at the time of this taping, this item is roughly $92, roughly. And I will tell you, because I wanna talk a minute about uh, doing the best you can with your money. I wanna tell you this was 30 or 40, and I feel like the quality is, you know, not as, High quality is lodge. I mean, I knew that when I bought it, but that's what I could afford. So it served me well, but just um, a little over twice the amount of, money, amount of money for this, you can actually purchase something that can become an heirloom item. You can pass it down from generation to generation and you're supporting a USA uh, company. All right, so let's get into this and I wanna show you how you can Keep it from being um, a chipping as much. And by the way, this is a red, because I love red, six quart. Again, thanks to Layman for sharing this with me today. Now it says on the box, it points out, you can use this for slow cooking, braising, simmering, stewing, marinating, refrigerating leftovers. Wow. Feel empowered by new recipes, it says. So I love, the, the box is actually cute itself. It's got little uh, attractive graphics. It's got coloring that's attractive, but it just has some graphics and some helpful information. Cook, wash, dry promptly. Of course, you would not put uh, cast iron in the dishwasher. Okay, friends, um, I had a little hiccup there. <laughs> My video was going smoothly, I thought, until I realized um, the box said made in China. So I wanna talk about that. Stop, back up. I wanna talk about that for a few minutes and I wanna address that. Uh, it kinda caught me off guard because Lodge is an American company, Tennessee company. They make their cast iron in Tennessee. I have seen it, I've seen videos, I've been to the the factory, the store, um, <clears throat> but apparently the, I've done some research, turned the camera off, did some research that, um, like I said, it caught me off guard, but the enameled cast iron apparently is different, and I want to address that, and then we're going to go further with the unboxing, um, and then tell you whether or not I think you should buy this product, being honest. This little pamphlet comes in here, and I did not read it before uh, coming to you um, because, you know, I thought I knew how to use the cookware, and um, it does have a li limited lifetime warranty, which that is great. So it does say, where is Lodge's enameled cast iron made? They address this. It, if you know me, you know I am all about buying USA made, supporting USA companies, and I try not to buy from overseas um, companies, but especially this one that it mentions. And that is my personal preference, that is my personal philosophy, and I either have made or will bring to you more content on that topic. But. No matter what, <clears throat> I'm always going to be honest with y'all. I mean, y'all are my friends, and I want to treat you with integrity and honesty and not bamboozle you. It says that as an American manufacturer for more than 120 years, please let me read for just a second if you don't mind. It's always been our goal to make products in the USA whenever possible. When we decided to make enameled cast iron cookware, we searched ex extensively for a manufacturer who would enamel bright colors in the U.S. After exhausting efforts to find one, Lodge had to search overseas for a partner that could meet our quality standards. We found those partners in China and have worked directly and constantly with them ever since to deliver high quality enamel cookware. We work with third party inspection teams to ensure that quality is up to Lodge standards and that all partner companies comply with all applicable employment laws and regulations. 
We are proud of our enamel products and stand behind them like we do our traditional cast iron, which is made in uh, South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. The profits from our enamel sales go to support the more than 500 employees who work at our American company. Okay, well, that is, those are the facts. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> I still support Lodge. I mean, I, uh, obviously, I would, I would encourage you to buy this from uh, Layman's using the link that I have because you're still supporting a USA company. And remember guys, ladies, gentlemen, we're doing the best we can. That is our new motto that I want us all to adopt. We're doing the best we can. And as far as enamel cookware, I feel like this is the best we can. You know, I'm pretty sure that this was also made in the same country. And I don't even know if Crofton itself is an American company. I don't even know. So, okay, we had that little interruption, but we learned something, and we are going to make the best choices that we can, right? We're just all going to make our choices and be satisfied with that. So, let's look at this enamel Dodge cast iron, and I want to tell you uh, the little secret that they provide, that or the little tool that you can keep it from chipping like the Crofton brand uh, did for me. All right, back to business. So, here's the lid. And it's not a white enamel, it's kind of a tan color. And I will say that this uh, handle, you can put this in the oven for up to 500 degrees, is my understanding. It's very sturdy and uh, it has a, a curved inside um, the lid. And then this is a curve too, a little bit more of a, a slope than the Crofton brand. It is darker on the bottom and it has the ridges there. These little tools, they provide for you to keep your lid from bumping on the, the um, Dutch oven part, see, just like that. So it doesn't, it doesn't um, chip it or harm it, and you can store it in that way. So I would just suggest when you're using it, just put these in a place, these little black pieces put them in a drawer or a little bowl beside on your counter or something and then after it or by your sink just make sure they don't go down the disposal if you have one and then just store it with these little uh, rubber or plastic pieces on here so that my friends is the lodge uh, six quart cast iron enamel lined uh, dutch oven and again the link is down below in the description box but I hope you're counting your blessings and just be a wise consumer, make your choices, and then be satisfied with your choices based on your research or your beliefs or your philosophies or just doing the best you can. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.